water precious to us water like air water is also needed by all living things life is not possible without it we use water in many ways such as for drinking cleaning washing etc the important sources of water are lakes seas wells ponds rivers etc rain is the main source of water different forms of water water is found in three states in nature liquid water which we drink gas water vapor and solid ice liquid water we use the liquid form of water for drinking washing and cleaning it has no definite shape it takes the shape of the container into which it is poured pure water is colorless and odorless gas water vapor what happens when we boil water when the water is heated it changes into water vapor you can see these vapors coming out of the pot water vapor is a gaseous form of water the process of conversion of water into water vapor is called evaporation now ask any elder to hold a cool plate over water vapor in few minutes you will see many drops of water deposited on the plate how does this happen when water vapor touches the surface of the cool plate it again changes into water drops the process of conversion of water vapor into water drops is called condensation solid ice ice is the solid form of water it has a fixed shape when you put some water in the freezer of your refrigerator after some time it changes into ice when ice melts it again changes into the liquid form water thus ice water and water vapor are the three forms of water impure water most of the water on the earth is impure as it may have soluble or insoluble impurities impure water can cause many diseases because it contains harmful germs so impurities in water must be removed to make it fit for drinking removal of impurities from water insoluble and soluble impurities are removed in different ways insoluble impurities insoluble impurities are the impurities which do not dissolve in water they are removed by different methods like filtration sedimentation and decantation filtration insoluble impurities can be removed by the process of filtration fold a sheet of paper into half and then into quarters as shown in the animation it takes the shape of a cone when we open it place it in a funnel as shown in the animation place the funnel with the conical filter paper inside the mouth of a bottle now pour a mixture of sand water into the funnel what do you see clean water collects in the glass and sand particles stay on the filter paper this process of pouring water through a filter paper that allows water to pass but not solid particles is called filtration sedimentation and decantation add some sand to a glass of water and stir it leave it for 15 minutes now observe the glass carefully you will see the sand particles settled at the bottom of the glass the water above the sand particles is clean the sand that settles down is called sediment and the process is known as sedimentation now pour the clean water into another glass slowly as shown in the animation 
the insoluble impurities settle at the bottom of the first glass as sediment. This process of pouring water is called decantation. Soluble impurities Soluble impurities are the impurities which dissolve in water. These impurities can be removed by distillation. Distillation Methods of evaporation and condensation are used for removing soluble impurities from water. Evaporate water having soluble impurities in a flask by heating and then allow water vapor to condense in a condenser. This process is known as distillation. To get pure water using this method, heat water containing insoluble impurities in a distillation flask. When the water evaporates, allow the water vapor to pass through a condenser. When the water vapor cools, pure distilled water collects in the condenser. Keep the condenser cool by running water as shown in the animation. Insoluble impurities settle down at the bottom of the flask. Distillation gives us purest water called distilled water. We use it in laboratories and batteries. Purifying water for drinking. Clean water is a must for our good health. Impure water contains germs that can cause all sorts of diseases. Water can be purified to make it fit for our consumption as follows. Water can be boiled for 10 to 15 minutes to make it safe for drinking. Ultraviolet water filters can be used. However, the filter candle should be cleaned frequently. Otherwise, it will itself become a breeding ground for germs. Potassium permanganate or alum can be used to purify water. In towns and cities, the water supply is purified by sedimentation, filtration and chlorination. Water is a precious resource. We should use it sensibly and save it as much as possible. One of the best method to conserve water is rainwater harvesting. Rainwater harvesting. Rainwater harvesting is a modern technology of reusing rainwater. It is followed in many parts of India. It is the method of collection and storage of rainwater from rooftops or from land surface for future use. It is good method for increasing the availability of water. There are two techniques of rainwater harvesting. One, rooftop harvesting. In this technique, rainwater is collected in tanks from the rooftop. This might contain impurities which have to be filtered before use. 2. Rainwater can be sent directly to the ground through pipes. This replenishes the groundwater, thereby maintaining the level of groundwater.